ARM. There are a lot of product suits, but we will be focusing on one that is ASM. What is ASM? If I will talk about ASM, ASM means ASM stand for application security manager. This is nothing but a WAF solution. Now, what is WAF? WAF is web application firewall. So these are the things what we talked about because the recording was not there. So I just give an overview again. Now let's start. So you people are aware that the names what is appearing over here in this on the screen are very big giants, right? But are you aware these big giants even have gone through a lot of cyber attacks hits there are a lot of cyber uh, attacks I, I would be saying that hit business every day even you can see these big names right it can be D dos ddos sql injection it can be session hijacking it can be brute force attack it can be credential stuffing csrf ssrf xss probably if you have haven't heard about these kind of things it's all right perfectly fine i will be going to show you through uh, some of them in our practical also but these are uh, i would say uh, the uh, the uh, consequences is the data breaches and data breaches affecting millions of users millions of users very common thing so the biggest or the baddest breaches i showed you on the screen like alibaba Alibaba, you guys are aware that Alibaba is a Chinese shopping website. On November 2019, there was a cyber attack happened over there and 1.1 billion pieces of user data was get breached. You see the LinkedIn, okay, the biggest name, LinkedIn is what? Your professional network giant, right? So 700 millions of uh, data got uh, like steeled over here and posted on a dark web form in June 2021. So uh, it's last year, probably I am talking about, okay, 700 million user data. Similarly, if you see Facebook, Facebook has a data breach in 2019, 533 million user data was, you know, uh, just sent over the dark web. So cyber crime is increasing every year as people try to benefit from the vulnerability of your business system. So often attackers are looking for some kind of, you know, vulnerability, or I would say some kind of backdoor so that they can stop your services or hack your services or probably hack your database or the sensitive personal information. So this is your cyber attack. Now, why we are talking about cyber attack, you will come to know in a moment, okay? Before that, let me go and talk about some more thing about the OWAP top 10. So anybody here is aware about OWAP top 10, please maybe you can share your views, okay? Uh, actually, this form should be two-way communication so that interaction could be there. It's all right. So OAP top 10 is a, you can say it is a report. Okay. It's a report which will get published in three or four years, every three or four years. Last time it was in 2017. Now the new report is 2021. What this report consists of? This report talk about the top 10 vulnerabilities or top 10, maybe you can say risk for the web applications. Okay. For the web application so you are aware that this is the digitalization uh, world now every small or bigger uh, you know um, business is going to the digitalization everybody is going on the digital platform so if everybody is going to the digital platform there should be some kind of security risk associated with it to mitigate those risks we should be aware like what are the categories first so this OAP top 10 is a project okay although we would be going to talk about OAP top 10 in approximately two three hours in our classes okay uh, today just a introductory session so i am just giving you the overview let us say 
in 2017 if i will say there was the injection attacks okay injection attack and what they does they people are uh, just gathering this data from lot of lot of websites or big giants as i uh, show you some name in the previous you know slide so there they learn about that okay what are the vulnerabilities uh, on our website can be it can be any but they categorize in the top 10 uh, list that these are the most occurring vulnerable elements of the application like injection attack so injection attack is what injection attack mostly the popular injection attack is sql injection please uh, is anybody heard about it just yes or no maybe what is sql injection have you heard anybody no Yes, so, yes. Thank you for that. So let us say there is a user. User is going to the application. Application can have some of the tiers, like web tier. Web tier can talk with some another tier that can be database tier. For now. you just understand web tier is something which have your static page the html pages maybe images you can say maybe videos you can say but the static thing database is what where you store probably like uh, your email address your username password whatever whenever you want it to store that will get stored into the database and the communication between the web tier and database tier will take place using a language name as sql okay this is the language of law between web tier and the database tier now what happened if your website is not your website is not properly designed okay properly designed although your traffic is https some people have the theory that okay if i am using the certificate then there sh there should not be any kind of risk associated with my site but that is a wrong theory even your traffic is https but it is prone to let us say in this case sql injection okay maybe to make more sense to you guys because uh, some of you are very new you don't aware about this uh, infrastructure let me just show you how sql injection can be you know uh, tweaked so i am just jumping on my lab i will show you the lab later on but let me just go to my lab here we would be using two websites where we will explore the attacks and we will stop that attack through the f5 okay how probably that we will be going to talk later on but now i am just uh, you know inducing the attack so you can see this is a website freely available resource f5 uses this even on the internet you can find it out with the name of php auction website so we have a website which is the php right idly what happened is if i will register here okay let me register so i am just going and registering with the name snack minion okay i submitted it okay now if you will see i am going in the home and logging it using the netminion netminion keyword something happened probably it's not doing the copy paste oh it's a big password it didn't copy it excuse me guys okay i need to you know do it again maybe register now username Let me let me let me. Okay, let me see if it allows already in use. Okay, 
let me use netminion1, netminion1, password netminion, netminion, probably let me use netminion1 this time. Okay, and select anything, username netminion1, okay. Go to the home. Let me log in over here, okay? I am just going with my username and the password what I created and saying go. When I am logged in, you can see I am logged in with netminion1 as user. If I will go to your control panel, okay? You can see it is showing my credit card information. It is showing my email, telephone, address and blah, blah, all of the things. One thing very important, although these things should also not be shown to me as a user at, uh, itself and the reason why reason is because this is something uh, again a violation because if somebody is behind my screen is uh, able to see about this information these are the very sensitive information then there is of no use this the data is getting breached okay so even this case it should not be there but we will be going to talk about the stuff later on but you can see when i am going to the control panel i can see only my information let me log out see this time what i am doing this is a simple sql injection query in the password i am not putting anything on the username i just initiated a sql injection query and i am saying go I am logged in. If I will check my control panel data, will you believe I am able to get each and every username, credit card, email ID, although these are fake, but if it would be a production website, then what could be the harm you can see? Every data can be breached. So this is your SQL injection that happened. And why it happened? Let me show you again. When my web tier, okay here if you see I, I i was talking about the same thing when my web tier talk with my database tier i just parse something like one equal to when hash which means that okay if it is true give me the username and password and every detail and this is true for everything and that is the reason it is giving everything in one go which is a vulnerability which should not be the case actually okay so any doubt so far on this particular uh, lab session or probably what we did maybe you can ask because couple of the people are very new so that is the reason i am asking if you have any question do let me know otherwise i would proceed up for further of the labs sure i am assuming no so here again let's come back on our slide in our slide you can see that we were talking about OWAPS top 10 and out of OWAPS top 10 i was talking about one of the attack name as sql injection so story does not stop with the sql injection only okay there can be lot of lot of attacks that can happen like have you guys heard about something named as credential stuffing or probably I would say brute force attack. Anyone? Yes or no? Simple yes or no. Okay. Have you heard? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you for coming. Now, what is this? This is nothing. There is a website on your website you should be having username and password right there should be the field username and password now what happened is sometime people will write down a script or it is known as some kind of bots okay bots so bots is nothing bit like your small programs which will do the uh, uh, you know username and password hit automatically so they will initiate a lot of username and password on this application by taking into the uh, account that it should be cracked. Okay, it should be cracked and person who is not authorized will have the login by uh, prompting maybe millions of attempt. 
but this should not be the case actually if you have a application if you have a good application and in your application if somebody is does, uh, doing like that it is bit like your dos attack can happen it bit like your ddos attack can happen and uh, your services can also stop so in that case there is something like brute force attack prevention where we will see that how we can create a login page and how we can see that after three pages after three hits let's send a captcha so there is a captcha challenge right like prove yourself either you are a human or a bot or a machine a bit like that so in the captcha challenge if there is some kind of bot probably after every three time uh, first three time he need to prove it then fourth time again he need to do it so that kind of attack can be stopped by some kind of mitigations on the web one more thing this is not the stuff that only web can stop all of these vulnerabilities no even web developers can also stop but every web site is not uh, able to you know uh, detect these kind of attacks and probably cannot mitigate these kind of attacks that is the reason uh, web application firewall will come into the picture but let me talk about that okay so let me just see here what we are going to talk about so we were saying asm application security manager application security manager is a WAF. WAF means web application firewall so web application firewall is a generic term and it is used to secure your web application traffic it means not like your traditional firewalls which are from layer one layer two layer three layer four blah blah no it only work on layer seven okay layer seven issues it just pick up layer seven issues detect them and mitigate those uh you know uh, your problems now let me tell about asm asm is the web only but this product is coming from F5 and F5 web solution is ASM, Application Security Manager. But as a marketing propaganda from 2014, now the F5 is selling this solution as with the name as Advanced Web. So Advanced Web and ASM both are a bit like equal things you can say. There are more. Uh, uh, I would say some of the new features that got added on in the advanced web. Okay. But from 2014, it is now with the name of advanced web. So I hope web, F5, ASM, advanced web, all of these terms you guys are aware of. If you have any doubt, probably from anybody, you please ask. Okay. Your silence is saying no let me start then so if we will talk about f5 f5 networks i talk that this is a company okay and you have a box this can be physical appliance this can be virtual appliance in the uh, cloud also on premises also wherever you want you can install it that's of no uh, uh probably you have all of the features available but now let me talk a bit technical with respect to the f5 when we are saying about f5 okay f5 is working on tmos i am talking about the operating system now okay traffic management operating system so this is a operating system build up for the f5 and what the people did Again, it is built upon the Linux and Unix also, but this custom architecture, which I am talking about, F5 spent a, a very significant investment uh, in terms of time, in terms of developing this solution, right? And from there, Tmos come into the picture, which is a collection of the module. And every module, if you say LTM, GTM, ASM, whatever module I was talking about, ARM, APM, okay, A, uh, PM, all of them are working on Tmos only, one thing. 
Now, when I'm saying TMOS, uh, what does it mean? See, TMOS, literally, if I will say, the TMOS architecture is the extraordinary, okay? Among your different vendors, why? I can give you a couple of the points, okay? These points, again, uh, like what FI also highlights in their uh, sales technique, the very first point is TCP Express. What is this? Everyone is aware what is TCP, okay? Layer 4, uh, you have two protocols, TCP and UDP. TCP, connection oriented, okay? UDP, connectionless. What, how does TCP work? The SYN, then the SYNAC, then ACK. Okay, I hope everybody is here. The professional one, they people are already aware about these things, like how the communication happened between two probably endpoints. Okay, now this TCP has some RFC, right? When this T, uh, uh, TCP developer developed any of the protocol, they used to submit a RFC request for comments, where there is a big report and they will tell each and every point like how tcp will work and what are the different features or components included in this tcp now when i am talking about something named as tcp express what f5 does f5 says that they claim they claim it okay the tcp express is a collection of tcp efficiency improvements in the form of the standard RFC, they have they have suggested a hundred of custom FI features and they tuned it on the basis of extensive real world experience. So they have improved the TCP original protocol a lot so that the TCP what FI products is using and other vendors is using. Okay, other vendor probably I will say other other vendor. So the TCP efficiency here is more fast. Applications are more fast rather than other vendors. Minimum 5%. Okay. If you will say that, okay, what are the features probably? Can you take some names? Yes, I can take multiple names, but it's all right. Let me give you some of the name. Like one of the feature is delayed, okay, or selective acknowledgements then something named as ecn explicit congestion notification bit like there are lot of lot of things lot of features they people added so that this tcp can be little bit fast so this is one uh, thing i am talking about in the tmos architecture what is tmos architecture again because people are new so i would be repeating again and again please uh, don't mind those who are already aware so tmos architecture is a traffic management operating system for f5 and i am talking about one of the feature like tcp express okay and i hope you guys are aware about it now second feature the full proxy now there can be two type of proxy everybody should be aware if no it's all right like in your organization if user need to go outside right user need to go outside so they cannot communicate with the internet directly there should be some netted ip right and usually we have a proxy solution and proxy will take every request again the patting happen or maybe different sort of other things can happen you people are aware about it okay so uh, before proceeding just wanted to know uh, am i audible guys anybody please yeah yes oh. yeah you. you are audible sure sure thank you thank you now just give me a minute please only one minute Okay, so now this proxy solution is what? This is forward, forward proxy we used to say, right? Similarly, reverse proxy is a bit like doing the same work, but this time it is securing something 
the traffic which is coming from the internet to the inside maybe there are some servers and these servers uh, ip should not get exposed and okay let me create this over my give me a minute on my uh, whiteboard so i was talking about forward proxy and in my forward proxy i i told that they cannot communicate to the internet directly and the solution is forward proxy now i am talking about bit like very very uh, in the reverse order let us say if requests are coming from the internet directly to your data center and there are a couple of your servers these servers cannot be exposed directly on the internet and there should be something which is uh, taking this traffic prior to your servers and then it will send this traffic on your server and this is again a proxy and this proxy is named as reverse proxy okay so again doing the same thing reverse proxy hiding your identity which is coming from uh, means outside from the network which the traffic is coming up and in forward proxy it is hiding the identity of your users who are going to the internet what f5 claims f5 claims that our product our product is full proxy full proxy means what full proxy means the product which have the capability of forward proxy and reverse proxy both okay how probably i would be going to talk about a lot in detail during our classes but yeah that is the overview let me just uh, because you people are very new to us i i would talk about net minion block so if you will go to our blogging site uh, uh, okay there is a blog also please go through it even uh, uh, you know by uh, diagram by diagram we have explained what is forward proxy what is reverse proxy what is the summary probably a uh, good to uh, you know go through over here so maybe it's good if you can watch that okay so this is the second point that f5 tmos architecture is working as full proxy okay and why it is beneficial probably let me give you a couple of the thing okay because it is a full proxy where is my pen uh, okay here it goes. because it is a full proxy that is the reason i can add a lot of things here like what like ssl offloading okay those who are not aware about ssl offloading let me give you a very quick overview over the internet we cannot send the plain traffic so when my client will come with any kind of http request it should be with something named as https that is it is going through ssl thing and if you are not aware about ssl uh, stuff probably i would explain it in in the classes and uh, also you can go to our blogs also where we have taught about that how ssl handshaking will perform end to end now there is one device name as f5 it can be ltm it can be gtm it can be asm anything and then there is server what happened is generally these two devices would be into your data center and since it is your, in your data center so when request coming from client to f5 from f5 to the server this request can be http because it's within your data center very less chances that man in middle attack would happen okay so what we achieved from it what we achieved is see this ssl encryption this ssl decryption everything who is taking care so here the ssl decryption and again ssl encryption when the client uh, it is sending the request to the client who is taking care f5 is taking care it means we have reserved a give me a minute please okay so these things would be taken care by fi only okay 
and uh, that is the reason we are saying because it is offloading the ssl traffic we are saying that it is doing ssl offloading and see why it is able to do the ssl offloading because it is full proxy it can listen the traffic it can modify the traffic it can intercept the traffic it can add a lot of uh, you know uh, valuable content if required one use second use you can use probably the compression profiles you can use probably uh, fast caching profiles maybe qs also you can add it probably this side is uh, ipv4 okay from the client to f5 is ipv4 and from f5 to the server it is ipv6 or vice versa probably any any kind of thing can happen so it is also supported since it is a full proxy solution it means it is providing a lot of features over there and let me tell you if there is vulnerability which is coming okay if there is a vulnerability which is coming into your http request so there is f5 there is a server and if f5 will not able to open this request how it can mitigate this vulnerability it can't because it cannot read about it that is the reason it should be a full proxy any doubt so far am i going uh maybe in the pace is fast slow maybe anything whatever you wanted to talk about no okay let me start more than so i talked about tmos in the tmos i just gave you the overview about two features one is tcp express second is full proxy now let me talk about you know a very third specific feature very 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 generic feature and then i will stop uh, for the tmos over here and we'll show you some of more things i do what i rule is before talking about i rule let me talk about any of the device in this uh, you know networking world or security world what we does is any device you take any name any vendor any device would be have some kind of default behavior okay and let us say if you have a specific requirement you cannot say to cisco that okay cisco your router should work in such a way that my uh, this requirement can be fulfilled you cannot say right because cisco will say that these these devices are not taking into the consideration when we are building up your uh, specific uh, you know project it is for all and since it is a default behavior you need to manage with it but what f5 will say you f5 says that my box has a special uh, like i would say the most unique capability of the team or that you can write down your own scripts these scripts are very easy based on your tcl language let me write down the word tcl named as tool command language very easy to create very easy to understand very easy to read about it so using i rules probably you can customize with the default behavior what f5 comes with so f5 claim there is no other device in the world that can implement this type of highly sophisticated logic in their inspection feature set any doubt in this no okay so as i told you that currently f5 promoting their product as advanced web. it is asm application security manager okay so your traditional uh, firewalls which work on layer 3 layer 4 probably a bit like that but it is working on your layer 7 okay so this is your layer 7 solution it means you should be having layer 7 profile what is that probably you people are very new for the same 
I would be talking about step by step in our uh, lab, but yeah, that is the thing. Okay, here if we go OAP stop 10, this covers. Board defense, this cover. Brute force, this cover. Web scrapping, this covers. Okay, you take maybe I will say 100 of names and it would mitigate those kind of vulnerability if not. 100 out of 100 but yeah 90 out of 100 will get mitigated by your f5 okay i will show you something some some of them okay so here you can see like uh, our presence is on the youtube please uh, you watch youtube there are very uh you know free videos available on the youtube also if you are looking for some free resources or if you are uh, just searching for us uh that okay how we teach not only asm maybe if you go to the youtube search for the net minion there even for the cci uh, security, CCI, enterprise, data center, whatever you are looking for, probably you can go for, for them one by one. Okay. So, SD WAN in Hindi, in English, in both uh, language, we are teaching about, uh, you know, different, different technology. Then, probably you can search uh, about us over the, uh, you know, Google, over the uh, probably LinkedIn, over the Facebook, wherever you want, maybe you can go and you can talk, uh, you can search about us. Okay. Now, how we will work? We will having a comprehensive plan for you guys. Okay. Where we will go by the theory and the practical both hand in hand. And since you are enrolling with us, then you will get the lab solution. Okay, uh, probably I am coming to that. So uh, we have a comprehensive plan where we would be starting from the level zero to a level that you can migrate your own application security manager when whenever there is some requirement in your project, probably. Okay. So let's talk about some of the more lab tasks. Okay, let me show you some of the lab tasks uh, because a couple of you are keen to you know see them so what kind of lab we have first let me show you the same see this is the lab for the advanced web where if you see this pc it is acting as a management pc and it is acting as an external user also there are two websites one php auction second dvwa these two websites are the vulnerable website where we will put a lot of attacks okay now since every traffic should be coming through your f5 so on the f5 this is your f5 box again a virtual appliance version is 16 okay let me just remove this you can show it properly version is 16 so every traffic will come like what it will go to the f5 from f5 probably this particular application on the f5 we need to define some kind of rules okay maybe uh, i will say the rules otherwise the technical word is security policy so we need to define some, some of the rules so that you people can stop these kind of vulnerabilities over there okay making sense yes no very quiet you are Okay, am I audible? Am I audible, guys? Yes, sure, yes, you, you are, are audible. audible. You can... Okay, okay. Yeah, Arma, yeah, you are audible. Sure, sure, sure. So let me change my. Uh, okay. Now, when I am going to this PC, the PC management PC, what I was showing you. Okay. From here, maybe I can go to the F5. You can see F5 is there. So, user uh, name admin, whatever password you set, you can go with that password. There would be some virtual servers, and the people who are very new about the virtual server, maybe uh, we will be going to talk about them later on okay not in this class 
So this virtual server is nothing but representing the application. Let us say if I need to open the applications, what I was showing you, I will take the access of my virtual server. So you can see I am there in the uh, my application. There is a some concept name as application security. You can think about it. These are nothing but some kind of rules. So here you can create some rules. Let me create a rule. Okay. We will be going to talk about all of these details in coming classes. Okay, what are these? For now, probably you can think that, okay, this is what we are doing. I'm setting up some rules. Maybe you can think about that. Okay. And, and I applied this rule on my application, which is PHP auction. Now the same thing, what I did earlier, I run a SQL injection query. Let my policy get created. I will try to do this again. So policy creation will take some time. Okay. Let it get created. Okay. It's done. Let me just initiate this traffic again. That is SQL injection. And I can see this is again going through. But now if you will go to the event logs. Event logs is a bit like your logs. Okay. Can you see it is showing me that this request is having some sort of problem? And that is the reason there is some kind of threat scale at the level four. We can see. Let me make it bigger. This request can be, uh, you know, make tags bigger and you can see. And there is attack signature detected. Okay. So this was the attack signature. You can see there is uh, the same string what we applied over here, the same string we can see uh, that it got detected my F5 ASM box, but currently somewhat it is not blocked. Okay, let me do the setting change. I am going to the my application security. Okay, and in my application security, let me check attack signatures. What are these attack signatures? Probably we would be going to talk about the attack signature in our coming classes, but let me change some of the settings. Okay. Allow me a few minutes so that I can show you how WAF can resolve such kind of problems. So I am just changing the rules. Probably you can say that, okay, some rules are getting changed. Okay. And how to, who will tell us about this rule, how we will come to aware that which application is using what kind of rule. If such questions are coming in your mind, then please, I know that these questions are very valid, but, but yeah, we need to, you know, do these kind of things, uh, later on. Okay. Later on, I would be going to explain about every step. I'm just quickly checking my attack signatures are enforced or no. Since it is a, this rule is probably an automatic thing. I need to block it to the manual, save this so that manually I can do any of the change. What are these? automatic what is this manual again we will be going to talk about those things later on apply to all
anytime you are doing some change you need to apply the policy so that it can be applicable it, it is a bit like you are you know in the running running memory or maybe in the you know your startup memory okay change is done apply it let me change this request once the application is applied i could show you how web does work Oh, strange it's going through again let me check the event logs what's issue now so it is showing it is again staged yeah oh. let me go with these ids so this kind of troubleshooting probably we need to do in during our classes also okay so this this will develop your troubleshooting skills as well that okay in your environment if you are not able to you know do something how to resolve it what we can do uh, okay uh what should we do so those kind of things probably we need to check out it is now enforced okay It is also now enforced. What about my security policy? It's blocking. Attack signature enforced. Good. Learning and blocking settings. Can you please check the flags are that in the block or that is that is what I'm checking. That is what I'm checking. SQL injection signature is there. The very last thing which is missing here is the server technologies. Let me put the server technologies. again this new attack signature list need to be enforced so let me apply and enforce them I'm reinitiating meanwhile it is getting you know applied so that it can be checked properly apply the policy
let's for, for, wait for a minute okay now let me check either it is applied on same virtual server it should be because we can see php bravo very good so it is on same okay so maybe some thing we missed let me just delete this let me create another rule you know very quickly okay because it should not take such a time it's a very simple thing so let me just do test any anything let me take the rapid on itself virtual server is php log all request duty free minus eight block okay let it be disabled and my sql apache linux unix and my sql apache linux unix php let me save it quickly because it is very straightforward okay it's it's not a uh, damn uh, i would say advanced the tag signature thing is ready to use it's nothing probably i will say the topic which can be uh, very advanced and we need to see about the same things in a different way okay you can see that it is straightforward if we will put it and if it is put in, in a correct way on our uh, on our virtual server it will work then and there I'm just removing the cookie and all just to be ensure maybe last time we didn't check the cookie also right okay can you see this guys what WAF is saying WAF is saying this request is blocked and why it is blocked it is giving a request id bit like your request id okay if you will just search for this request id so user will come with such kind of support ids in the production what you need to do you need to go in the event logs okay in the event logs you need to search for this support id and this support id although there are a handful request currently but yeah if there are lot of them you can check through here and it will give you that okay this is the support id you can check it further that okay what is the issue with this request this specific request is blocked but why and here you can see it is talking about that this is the string that uh, contain in the keyword username okay and this particular string matching up with what matching up with sql injection attack this is one example what i am giving okay have you got this point yes or no So how F5 yes. is mitigating, I hope clear to you, right? Let me give you some more examples. Let us say there is a login page. This is login page. And this login page, let me log in with like the keyword netminion. Let me just use the word netminion. Use any password A, okay? Then netminion, maybe let any password A, B, whatever, okay? Netminion, and then any password A, B, C, whatever. Netminion, any password, okay that minion and any password so see this this will be keep on keep on accepting although it is saying it is login incorrect but isn't it is a bad thing or it isn't is a backdoor that you are uh opening for your you know uh for the uh, hackers so what we can do is we can create something named as brute force okay brute force protection probably let me show you in a in a uh very 
quickly okay although these settings i could not be able to explain you in this class because you are very new to them you would not be able to catch them but i am just showing you like how it will work okay in the classes i would be going to explain about each and every feature over there but yeah currently maybe you would not be able to understand so login page created let me go to the application security and brute force protection let me quickly create this that i wanted to have the brute force detection okay maybe you can go with leaked credentials but again different okay can you see username three times if user username login attempt failed it should alarm and it should send captcha let me create it okay apply the policy every change demands for applying the policy let's go open php option wrap again and go to the login page again net minion okay just maybe you know three four time i will do that no no that was net minion any password net minion any password net minion any password net minion any password can you see this from where it is coming it is coming directly from your WAF or your asm and why because we have done some kind of settings that now after three login attempts if the three lo uh, attempts are failed then this should be sent as an alarm and capture now let me copy this support id you can see there is a support id go to the event logs okay and can you see this th there is a challenge request which sent this is the same maybe let me do a filter quickly go to the support id and apply it and here if i will make it maximize you can see that uh, it should be a brute force attack can you see attack type is brute force when you will check for it even it is telling you the username is netminion and it uh, detect the failed login or the threshold has breached so each and every request we will be going to talk about each and every like how http request get constructed what are the http response codes okay how to create the security policy uh, what are the best ways that security policy can be created if our application team is not uh, supporting us in a much uh, you know excellent way how we can create security policy by our own all of those technical details we will be going to talk about okay and this lab you will everybody of you will get this lab and you would be having your own port so it means you need to create your lab by your own so if we will talk about the facilities either me either anybody who is teaching in the net minion is a working professional so whatever we teach we teach on the basis of the real environment real problem and how you can crack your interviews probably in the market that we will be going to talk about okay placement assistance generally for the indian peoples who are from the india because we are indian based companies so we are providing over there yeah you would be having the practical classes including the lab task everybody of you will get the lab so that you can access your lab as per your time because different different countries people are here and probably different time zone also so initial workbook also you will get and uh, yeah you have the certified trainers and for with respect to the certification also you can go and you can crack your certification post uh you know uh post going with this kind of training so that is what and i will say overview for the asm class today okay uh would like to see you in the further classes you can contact us over there on www.netminion.net you can just go there uh, click on our website okay you can interact with our people and uh, probably zoya is there you can talk with zoya okay and you can go on our youtube channel also to see the free resources available there on our blogs free resources blogs there okay uh, so everything is uh, you know available over the internet nowadays probably you can check them 
Any other question, guys? So in the new batch for the ASM when it's going to start? Oh, okay. Yeah, good question. So say that it is starting from next weekend. You would be having classes on Saturday and Sunday, two hours each day. So it means four hours per weekend. Okay. Oh, hello, hello, Mr. Varma. Muhammad here. Yeah, Mirza here with you. Hi, uh, hi, Mirza Muhammad. I believe I'm, I'm audible over there. Yes. Okay. Actually, I have some question. Uh, that's what's the timing? The same time it would be closed, or the different time setting? Right. Same time. That time. Yeah. Time. Same start, time. Okay. Start time uh, is the same time. Total, total hours, uh, how many hours total in the You can You can take hours it as 22 plus hours minus, okay? Like 20 hours or 24 hours, a bit like that. 20 to 24 hours, okay. Yeah. Uh, what is cost for this course? Probably you need I'm... to talk with NetMinion for the same, okay? Uh, okay. Please, uh, you just interact with us, uh, like how uh, I, I would be, you know, giving my website also, but yeah, you can just go to the netminion.net uh, oh, okay. Some other page. Okay. Although Joya, please uh, put your number also so that everybody can take your number and approach you. You can just go to this uh, WhatsApp. And okay. basic requirement. What's the basic? Uh, which kind of knowledge you have to require? Pay requisition. I mean, for this. Simple. Uh, you simple, talk about you the big, need to be IP, aware right? about. Yeah. You need to be aware about okay. very simple uh, knowledge of LTM. That would be great. Then, like then what is virtual server, what is pools, okay. what is pool member, okay. because we will be leveraging these things in the ASM. Okay. And okay. if you don't have the knowledge about this also, probably uh, we can talk about it. Okay, Mirja Mohammed, you can just uh, give okay. a call to us. Mm -hmm. uh, I would be get, uh, you know, uh, uh, like coordinated uh, on the same call. And I would explain okay. you a couple of uh, ways, like how you can get benefited from this course fully. Oh, okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and this course, uh, it will be totally on the ASM, okay? Like the LTM, it's need to be covered. Like I have uh, experience also in the LTM, okay? Like the local traffic management, how you will use this one. No, so it will be totally on the uh, totally on the basis of the ASM. We will uh, cover the all the OAWS, OS for top 10 sec security vulnerabilities like that. So it's mean that we will just focus on the web application as a web application. So okay, HTTPS traffic like that. Yes, Farhan, your understanding is very much correct. Even LTM, if you will talk about again, the same number of hours, same number of hours training. Okay. Those who wanted to do LTM, probably you can register for LTM also. If you will talk about GTM, same number of hours for GTM, but here we are totally focusing on the AS. Yes, 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 yes. Mostly in the, here in the Middle East market, mostly ASM and LTM. Also GTM they have, uh, but mostly they are covering about this one, the LTM as a uh, ASM. Uh -huh. ASM is nowadays most, uh, you know, yes. in demand. It is, it is in demand. You are. You, you are right. Actually, the reason is, see, as I started from my first slide, security, there is a security risk. And if some kind of, you know, attack happened, it can lose, it can be a loss of reputation, right? A very high uh, monetary loss also included. So to mitigate those things in advance as a proactive solution is WEF. And yes, F5 is the robust one. Okay, any other question from anybody? No? Sure. So I, I am treating that there is no question, no technical question, or maybe probably no uh, other question. Okay, we'll meet you next. So kindly uh, share the recording, uh, so with me, so I, I can share in the group because some some of the, uh, you know, uh, 
people they want to join but uh, as per their uh, job restrictions and due to some their some of the you know prob other problems they 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 won't be able to join so so that they can have the you know demo session uh, on over the recording yes mr sayed that would be handed over to you uh, okay and probably you can share that link in your contacts <music>